Good morning, everybody. It's about 9.03 a.m. We're at 87,276 miles. Uh, the reason why we're starting our driving today really late was because I decided that this morning was the trigger. This morning was the morning that I was just going to binge watch the entire season seven of My Hero Academia. You have to understand this series has been airing since 2016. And the fact that we, you know, we're now in season seven. Next season, season eight, is going to be the final season of My Hero Academia. Uh, the story's already finished. They're just, like, uh, putting it into book form now. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, to just put it to you simply, like, this season was very emotionally powerful. I say that because I cried a couple of times during some of the episodes. Um... Because it just, it, it moves me a lot because you have to understand, I choose to listen to the stuff that I listen to because it is literally the driving force behind why I do the things that I want to do. Because all I want is to try to make this world a better place. But for the most part, just give people the opportunity to create a life in which that they want to live their lives. However, whatever way they choose. And, you know, it's not my job to tell people how to live their lives, but it is, I feel like is my duty to remind people like all the possible things or all the things that are possible that they can do with their lives and like to break them away from like the shackles and chains that their family or their community or their friends may give to them that they put around their necks. For me, that's, you know, my mission. That's really what I'm really trying to do. But yeah, I don't really have much to say. I just, you know, I'm very choosy with what I choose to consume. Because the thing is, is that I just don't want to simply just be entertained. I want to apply what I'm learning as much as I can. But yeah, that's it. Because collecting knowledge means nothing if you don't actually put action behind it. So... That's all I got for you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful Thursday. Let's get it. Here we go, baby. So if you guys are wondering where I am, I'm like literally um, on the border close to uh, Delaware. And um, I dropped a uh, Latino couple over here from uh, Mexico over at a place called Diana's Market. If you go inside here, it's such a cute little store. It's like a grocery store. Um... But honestly, you have to understand, I'm going to be very clear cut about this. First, I'm going to say this. My parents, they legally came to the United States, okay? They came here, like, they went through the whole, whole process, and they worked their butts off to contribute to America. And so when I see stores like this where people that, you know, they don't speak very good English. They speak mostly Spanish. But they're working hard and like, you know, trying to live the American dream here by running their businesses here. I mean, like, dude, and, and the people that I drove here are people that work here. It makes me happy. Like, even though, like, I understand it'd be great if these people could understand English, right? But the only way that we can really encourage them to do that is if, like, you know, I take the time to actually understand Spanish. Because I know this is a long-term thing. It's not an easy thing to get people to try to understand the language that you speak. But if you can take the first step by taking the time to understand their language, their culture, they might feel encouraged to want to, like, make the switch over. And and I do this because, like, look, in my lifetime, I will probably not be able to create these laws or whatever regulations, whatever it is. But what I can do is the next time that I run into somebody that's from Mexico, Ecuador, Guatemala, it doesn't matter. At least... If I can at least show them that I understand a bit of Spanish, they might be like, oh, wow, this guy knows how, our language even a little bit. Maybe I should put some extra effort into learning how to speak English so that they can understand me. So that's the way I take it. But other than that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Let's keep going. Also, it's 2.27 p.m. I haven't had uh, the last half of my egg sandwich yet, so that's what we're going to do. Um, but since this, we happen to be in Kennett Square, we're going to go ahead and charge the car here, use the bathroom, take a small little break, and then we'll finish up the rest of our driving for tonight and uh, head home. 
and uh, do our uh, do our charge at home. That's all I really have planned. I don't know if I want to finish it around 5.30 or 6.30, but uh, I want to put some more effort in because um, we have to remember, I'm going to remind you guys, this Saturday I'm going to be going out again. Um, so Friday and Sunday will be the days that I got to grind hard. Uh, today and Sunday, or today and Saturday, we're just going to try to do what we can and uh, make the best of it. So other than that, I hope you guys are having a wonderful uh, wonderful uh, Thursday today, and uh, let's keep getting it. Let's go, baby. Crazy downhill. I'm, I'm, I go down here every now and then, but like, geez, man. This Coatesville Hill is like really steep. <laughs> All right, guys. It's uh, 6.37 p.m. We're at 105 miles. I did two-thirds of a day because I think I'm sitting at just a little a bit above four hours. So I did about eight hours of uh, work for today. Um, yeah, I think the plan should be just go home, reset, get up early tomorrow, take a shower tonight, um, and then do what I need to do tomorrow, knock out a full day Friday, knock a full day out on Sunday, and do a half day for Saturday, or do whatever I can for Saturday. I want to beat last week's total, just incrementally getting up to being consistent and beating my week's previous records. I just want to build up consistency. That's what I'm trying to work on right now. So I'm not trying to like force myself to drive crazy hours and just finish the, do the whole thing. I want to make sure that, you know, my system is in place because here's the deal. You don't rise to the level of the challenge. You fall to the level of your systems. So yeah, I can have these like, you know, I can have these hot streaks, but I want a consistent hot streak or at least a consistent hot streak week. So that's what I'm gunning for. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday. Let's keep getting it.